Hey guys, and welcome back to the Spelunky Daily Challenge. Uh, so yesterday, I apologize, I didn't actually have time to get the daily done. We're gonna play as Alpaca Patrol today, and hopefully things go pretty well today. Yesterday, or the, uh, the day before yesterday, I should say, I actually made it to hell again for the first time in a really long time, and then had one of the most mysterious deaths of all time, like one of the, the biggest incident, er, um, instances of, uh, of hitboxes completely fucking me over. Like, a lot of people even showed me on Twitter. They, like, sent me that that bad. It's going to prevent me from getting that money, unfortunately. It's not worth a rope quite, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, but, yeah, people even sent me photo or, uh, pictures on Twitter of, like, see, you got hit by the Tiki Trap. But, like, as I got hit by the Tiki Trap, I was waist deep in the shopkeeper's head. And, uh, normally, it's blanky when you jump on an enemy's head, you bounce up. Uh, which I will demonstrate next time we get an enemy, like this guy. See how I bounced off of him instead of just continuing to fall into a tiki trap? Yeah, that's, uh, that's how hitboxes usually work. Uh, but this time, I was like, if you go back and watch it in slow motion, it was like, seriously, my legs and most of my hips were inside the man's head uh, when I got hit and uh, lost my last health. So that's why I was so confused about what had happened, because I, I legitimately thought, like, there's no way that I got killed by a tiki trap here. It's impossible. Uh, let's go ahead and let Joby just go from here, because I do want to bomb my way in here. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, and we can just get back up there. <laughs> I was thinking I didn't want to fall and waste a rope, so, uh, that was weighing heavy on my mind, but we made it in, regardless of, uh, any kind of silly misconceptions about how difficult that would be on my part. And let's grab our dog and continue. Can we get down here from anywhere? I should have checked that from down here before coming up to get the dog, shouldn't I? No, we can't. Okay. Um, so let's, again, leave the dog outside. And stick a bomb right here, I think is going to be good. I think that will let us get back out. <clears throat> I want to trigger that bat. And then we are going to have to use a rope as well to get to this crate, but that's a, a rope and a bomb is usually a pretty good trade for a crate. Uh, in that case, we ended up getting three ropes, so we lost a bomb to gain two ropes. That's alright. It's not the worst. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, if it had been bombs, obviously it would have been a slightly better deal. We're going to let Joby walk down there. Dude, wow. Ghost coming on the first floor is pretty unusual. Uh, fuck, I wanted that money. I'm gonna take it. Then I'm gonna leave. And uh, that was a pretty good first floor, I would say. We're starting out ahead on both resources. We got five bombs, six ropes. We've got five health. We've got 25k. That's a lot of money to get on one floor. So uh, pretty strong first floor. This is gonna be, you know, potentially a really nice run. But you know, you can't judge too much off of the first floor. You know, it all depends really on what you get on the black market. But in the early game, we're gonna have a pretty good time, I would say. I want... Ah, well, perfect. <laughs> I was I was, thought for some reason that I couldn't trigger that spider from down there, but I was wrong. So that spider was conveniently placed to make sure that we could get all of that money in there uh, without having to expend any of our own resources, so thank you. Very polite spider. Sometimes spiders are kind of dickheads, but, uh, you know, every once in a while, they're just stand-up gentlemen. So what's going on in this shop? Some good stuff. And uh, we could actually afford all of that stuff instead of having to uh, turn to a life of crime so early. I don't, okay, we're going to throw this instead. My, my concern was that like the rock would somehow bounce into the shop or back onto my own head if I tried to kill the spider with the rock, but hey, no excuses with pots right there to give it a shot. And uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just take this stuff. Like, I don't, uh, or not, not take it, not steal it. We'll just purchase it and uh, move on because we the game gave us the money to do that and really you know in the grand scheme of things losing like 20k is not a big deal dying to shopkeepers super early is a huge deal so we don't want to do that we want to play it a little bit safe here and try to you know play the the long con reduce our immediate score to increase our final score hopefully anyway uh, depending on if we manage to get all the way to hell this time. <clears throat> Let's go get the dog. Just be a little careful of these spikes here, but we're all good. 
And we're gonna move on with 6 health, climbing gloves, 20 bombs. This is good. This is a good run so far. We still have 17k, which is not, you know, this is about par for not having bought anything at this point in the game, I would say. And we've bought all that shit as well, so good stuff. I'll just take this, even though it's a little bit risky. We've got an altar, so if we can find Joby, I'd have like to uh, have a little altercation with him, if you know what I mean. Uh, we'll take this rat for the hell of it, and for, you know, arrow trap protection. But then we'll take our rock back. And we definitely want to get paste off of this giant spider. I think this is a safe place to throw. <clears throat> and there it is. So now we've got paste, 19 bombs, 6 ropes, 6 health, climbing gloves. This is a really, really, really good early game. The weight on this storm. How the fuck? Have you not died to that arrow trap? <laughs> I guess it never moved. It just spawned there you know, from its birth. It was, it has spent its entire life there knowing that if it ever moved at all, then the, uh, the arrow trap would destroy it. That's kind of sad, really. Sad life. Let's see if we can trigger this arrow trap before, hmm, damn. I wanted to get that gold, but unfortunately the arrow trap won't trigger into that spider web. We'd have to get hit by it or use a rope or something, so fuck it. Wow, there's a fucking jetpack, and we need it desperately because we haven't found the key yet, and here's the chest right here. Uh, we can buy it. But, there's that mystery box. Uh, okay. Fuck. I don't know why the first time I pressed X I didn't pick up the shotgun, because all I had to do was press down and press X again and it picked up. Oh no. God damn it. <laughs> All that shit got piled on top of each other. I should have moved it. I should have moved the shit. But I also really thought I was on top of that shotgun. Whatever. Let's play one more, I guess. God, that's disappointing. Fucking jetpack, too. What a good run to fuck up. Damn it. I should have killed the first shot, because then that one would have been really easy. Oh, no, it wouldn't have. <laughs> that actually would have been a nightmare scenario if I had killed the first shot. Never mind. Because of the, the topography of the level would have made it so hard to actually get bombs in and kill that guy. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I hate fucking up that trick more than anything else because it's so easy and I've practiced it so much. So whenever I ruin it, it's just like, well, that should never have happened and I just ruined a run on nothing. Just very stupid execution mistake. Ah, well. Whatever. Sometimes, though, like, Spelunky's controls are so fucking weird and precise that I don't feel too terribly bad when I fuck them up. Shit happens in a game like this. But we tolerate it because the game design is so fucking good, even though the, the polish is kind of lacking sometimes. Come over here. What do we got? There's a dog for a bomb. Also, an emerald in the mix. Yeah, I should probably do that. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, that might make it annoying to get out of there. Nah, we're fine. Two emeralds. Nice. And that whole area over there, I don't know about that. Probably not going to go over there. Just a bunch of money as far as I can tell. Seems like crates have a very low chance of spawning on floor 1. It happens for sure, but usually not. Like it's, I'd say like 1 in 5 first floors I see a crate. But when I do, it's not unlikely, or it's not that unlikely to see more. So maybe there's like a, a bit in the code that's like, you know, you have a very low chance of it having the possibility of spawning crates, but if it does spawn crates, then it spawns at a normal rate. <clears throat> so that's all just conjecture. But it does seem strangely unlikely to see a crate on the first floor. Alright, so time to redeem myself. This man has to die so that I may live. And he doesn't have any pick upable items, so we're all good there. <clears throat> there we go, that's what should have happened in the daily, but uh, life hates me, so it didn't. <laughs> Let's uh, use one of our newfound bombs to get over to that area, because it looks like at least there's a bunch of money over there, and who knows what else. Should come and check it out. 
while we have the opportunity so I don't have to use a bunch of ropes to get back up. There's an altar. Oh, isn't that interesting? Let's go ahead and use another bomb to get into that altar. And we will... Oops. Sacrifice the shopkeeper and then in a little bit we also want to sacrifice the damsel if we can find it. And then we'd only be five sacrificial points away from the Kapala, which would be a really good situation to be in so early. So I'm just going to come down the normal way here. I hate the disconcerting sound of shopkeeper music going on because of a vault. That's always really annoying. There he is. Tempting to just go in there and kill him so I can sacrifice his body, but I don't know about that. God, look at all these bombs I have to use on this level. Some silly shit. That triggered, right? Like, that had to. Yeah, some gold fell past it. And there's a broken arrow right next to it. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're going to have to use another two bombs to get into this Joby chamber. But it's worth it if we could sacrifice it. Might have to use a rope as well. In fact, I'm pretty sure we will have to use at least one rope. I think we're good now, though. Very convenient path to the altar. And what do we got? Cape! Oh, so worth it. Oh, man. All those bombs we had to use. 100% worth it. Down to 14 now, but hey. Cape is a good place to be. It's too bad we don't have paste yet. Definitely want that as soon as possible because it's going to be really hard killing shopkeepers until we get it. For example, I don't want to piss this man off until he's turned around and going the other way. Okay. There we go. Two more sets of climbing gloves as well as a bunch of bombs. Good shot, but I would have really liked to have had paste. There's a dog. Hopefully there's an altar on this floor and we can get the Kapala super early. What's going on here? Okay, so we can just walk in there. There's a bunch of money to the right if we want it, but I don't really feel like it's too necessary to spend all of my time doing that more than my bombs, but also the bombs. Right now, I'd rather focus on just clearing out the exit, making sure there's no altar, and trying to kill the shopkeeper at the end, because it's going to be hard killing the shopkeeper without any uh, paste. We're going to have to do this very carefully. Oh, there's also the lock chest. Okay, so yeah, the whole area over there is not very necessary right now. We just got to find the key and get that done. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, well. It's always a risk you take when you drop the dog without... Uh, you know, well, while you're in a hurry, basically, I didn't really have time to, like, scope out an area for him. I just wanted him to kind of go toward the exit, and it didn't work out that time, but that's okay. Alright, so there's the key and the shopkeeper, kind of together there. So we'll just take this and toss it down, and then after we deal with the shopkeeper, we can deal with the key. Oh, no! Oh, my fucking god, that would have been perfect! Perfect, if not for that spiderweb trapping me so I couldn't get down and kill him. I shot him, okay. There we go, alright. Not the best handled shopkeeper, he was a very lucky man a couple of times, but uh, we did manage to take him out. And no altar on this floor as far as I can see. We gotta trigger this arrow trap without letting it trigger us. Just like that. And there's the U-Jedi. And I think we are pretty much done here. I just want to kind of glance around quickly in case the Ujedi revealed any items on the in the ground, because that could be a big advantage depending on what you find. <clears throat> Many a time I've seen a jetpack just buried in a wall somewhere, and that can really turn a run around, so definitely want to keep an eye out for that. No reason to deal with that arrow trap. Ah, you know what. Let's come in here and take this emerald as well. For some reason my brain was like, the arrow trap will hit you from the back. Because I just like the revealed side of the arrow trap, I guess, is scary to me. 
Uh, so when there's one just free floating like that, it's a scary thing. I guess let's keep going here. I'm gonna block off a gold bar, unfortunately. No! There is a gambling man. What does he have in his shop? Climbing gloves. I already have like three pairs of climbing gloves. God damn, he's gonna be so annoying too. I think I'm gonna bomb my way through here so I don't have to anger that guy. Because he's super scary to me. Oh shit, okay. We're all good. Oh, this is so scary, because as soon as I anger this guy, the guy upstairs is going to anger and come in here. And we're going to be over here, so he's not going to be able to get us. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> God damn it, caveman. Okay, I want to be really careful about that skull, because it would have instantly killed me if that ended up being a skeleton. Are you kidding me, this spider? Alright. You pull off like the most impressive jump shot of all time and the spider like just ignores every bullet. Keeps on jumping around. Uh, so, I want that dog, obviously, because I'm at 3 health, but... I, I just, I just don't know about it. I want this ruby. <laughs> oh no. Okay, <laughs> let's leave. I want the dog so much, but there's just... I'm not gonna fight that guy. I don't have pace. I still don't have pace, huh? That's a huge problem for me. Okay, so we got an altar. If we can get the dog, that is a Kapala right there. Oh, oh that was so scary. I was, like didn't grab the vine and <laughs> thought I was gonna land on the spikes afterwards. Okay, so we want to get the dog back up there. This is a high priority situation. Uh, I want to bomb somewhere so that I don't have to take such a stupid path to get back up here. Yeah, I should be able to like use my climbing gloves to negotiate my way up here instead of using a rope to get up here. And then this guy can actually come and uh, not be alive for the altar. I'm sorry, it's just too hard to jump to make with a caveman who could at any point come back to life and... Come on, Tiki Trap. There we go. Okay, so we're down to even a dead dog now, I think, will uh, will give us the Kapala, so we don't have to worry about keeping him alive necessarily. I saw the blinking, I don't know where exactly that's from. So let's go ahead and put down the shotgun so we can take out this piranha. Where why was it blinking faster? That's weird. Anyway, we gotta use a rope to get up here. So first things first, we're gonna go get our Kapala. And then we're gonna go figure out where the black market is. So it's weird. I can't see it at all, but it's gotta be like in here. There it is. All right. So still no paste is gonna make the black market real shitty, but. Uh, Let's see what we can do here. Little frog, yeah, there you go. Come up here. Ah, oh, come on, little frog. Don't be a dick. Damn it, monkey. Damn it, monkey. There we go. Fuck that guy. I was just looking for blood over here, basically. Um, but I think I'm just about done with that. Let's go ahead and pop into the black market, shall we? And just see what we can do here with no paste. Hopefully there's going to be paced very soon, because otherwise it's going to be an interesting venture. Oh, there's hired help, and the dog on the first floor, always the greatest. That is not where I wanted that bomb at all. Come on, greatest bomb of all time. Yes! <laughs> I killed him. That bomb killed that black market, uh, or that shopkeeper. That is crazy. Okay, and, and I see another gold thing over here, so there's another dead shopkeeper. That looks like a bad way to go, so we won't. Hmm. This is a bad situation.
Okay, that's what I wanted. Then he leaves? No? Then he, then he leaves. Alright. So we come in here shooting, because there's probably another guy in here. Where did he go? Where did he go? Okay, let's get rid of this tiki trap. There's no paste in this black market. That is a huge concern for everyone involved, namely me. Please, God, please. No. God damn it. Okay, one more of these and he's probably going to be too far down to fuck with the uh, Ankh. Yeah, I think he just went to the exit now, so... <laughs> See you later, I guess. And, uh, what else is on this floor? Quickly, quickly. Ghost is going to be coming any second, but we do want those spring shoes and ropes. So let's come down here and get those. An additional set of climbing gloves is always important as well. But for right now, we kind of just want to leave if this guy will allow it. <laughs> See here, I need to come over here, destroy the tiki trap, and then shoot in there. And we should be able to kill him. Just doing this. I think he is dead. Yes he is, alright. And we can even harvest a little bit of blood from this bat before we move on. Then we'll come down there, get the gold, and we are out of there. So we cleared out the black market without paste. That is a thing that just happened, that is a surprising thing that just happened, but not having paste is still going to continue to be a concern forever. Like, that is just such an important item to have. So, we're gonna have to keep our eye out for that, and if we don't get it, man, it's gonna be a weird run. I've never been this successful without paste before in my life. There's a shop down here. Please tell me there's paste in it. There's not paste in it. There's another bomb box. We have so many bombs. But no paste to use them with. There's this bat coming, so we'll kill him. This tiki man is going to be a huge concern. Not anymore. God damn it. Like, I want to... I have a strategy for taking this guy out, but I don't have paste, so I can't implement it. I honestly think it's not worth fucking with these guys. Like, we should just try to fall onto the exit here. Oh! It worked. I expected to bounce off of something there. That's why I paused for so long before going in. But, uh... Yeah, there's just no way to, like, attack that shop. There's, there's no, no proper angle of attack without being able to paste my way through some obstacles. Damn. This is a little bit scary as well. I just want to wait until this guy is in the perfect position for me to sneak up behind him. I wasn't sure if he was going to turn around at the end of the tree. Okay, totally fine. What do we get? More ropes? I'm so hoping for face. Okay, there's another crate down there. guys gets a little bit of blood not as much as I would like obviously but <laughs> let's go ahead and bomb right here so we can get some money as well as this crate and the crate contains additional ropes so many ropes okay, at this point that's probably better than bombs because we have so many bombs but still I'd really love to see paste out of one of these crates. oh man the nerve-wracking run, just because I have no idea what I'm going to do if we don't get that one item. It's such a common item, this one that you never have to deal with not having it. This is going to be a lot of blood. Yeah! Yeah! Just give me that blood. This is going to be an easy shopkeeper. Uh, normally I'd say with the Kapala, you know, all one bomb for one dog is probably not worth it. But in this case, I mean, 52 bombs as well. Might as well get myself some extra health here. 
we'll go ahead and whip him. And whip him again. And put him in the exit, and that's going to be almost 9 health on the next floor. And let's just move on, I guess. That was a pretty good floor. We're on to the ice caves. All right. So, things are still going to be fine here. It's really on the temple when we start really needing pay. Oh, we don't have spike shoes either. Fuck me. What a run. No, okay, so never mind. We're, we're not going to be fine on the ice caves because no spike shoes makes this place terrible because you slide on all of the ice. It's so bad. Oh, this... How could I have missed that button? Uh, I want this. So let's go get it. So let's just go ahead and leave it with the dog. And then we can come back up for both of them later. Actually, let's also just whip the dog right now. Because why not? And then if he's lucky, we'll come back for him and uh, take him to the exit as well. I thought I could get back out of here. Probably still can. Yeah, I can. Okay, excellent. And let's look at what's going on downstairs. Nothing that we can see yet. We do have ropes, so I don't need to worry too terribly much about my, uh, you know, using them to go back up. We will definitely need one there, unfortunately. Shopkeeper dead. He even left his shotgun, so we have a spare on this floor. Uh, let's go ahead and leave both of the- or actually, maybe we'll use this one for shotgun jumping, so we'll bring it up here. Maybe? Mm, <laughs> I don't know about that. Hang on. No. Nah, that's not gonna work. Oh well. It would have been sweet though, right? So there's a bunch of money. And here's a bunch of dog. That wasn't a fat joke, I'm sorry, Joby, it came out wrong. Um, grab the rest of the money here and move on I guess could have gone to the worm but I don't want to and we're just hoping that we see a shop that's like oh we're the everything you're missing shop here's a jetpack and paste and spike shoes oh well here's a jetpack right here anyway uh, there is bombs there but we gotta be careful about getting them because of the situation with the psychic presence Oh my god, the fucking spike shoes are gonna make that impossible, so I have to do it like that instead. <gasps> what am I doing? Why why would I approach the mammoth like in such a way? That was insane. Okay. I want these bombs. There we go. That's all I wanted. Oh without paste, how the fuck am I gonna do this? God damn it. <laughs> I don't I don't know how to beat this without paste. I seriously just don't. I, I guess we can do something a little bit risky here. Mm, I fucking shit. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use a corpse to throw at this. There we go. Okay, that's handy. Oh, did that actually blow up the laser? No, it didn't. Okay, well, that would have been a bit much to ask for. And then we just watch the pattern of the lasers here. It looks like after this one goes off, we got some substantial time. We'll just do it like that. And we really do need these lasers dead. What happens if I do that? Okay. And these ones go on at the same time. What if I throw a bomb like this? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah! Okay. Good stuff. And we got the jetpack without the paste. That is absurd. Usually what you do, by the way, if you're wondering, is you go in from the bottom and stick bombs to the bottom so you blow up those uh, those lasers and then you can shoot the dude without having to worry because those lasers also if you don't know uh, will actually explode oh god there's a thing under there that still shoots <laughs> um, the, the lasers do this thing where they b bounce back any projectiles that you shoot at them so you shoot the shotgun at them and they just shoot back it's really bad 
All right, so I guess we're done with this floor as well, and the head has to be on the next level. We got a jetpack. That's good. That's it's weird because the jetpack was like kind of the least of my concerns. Ah, that's not true. Like spike shoes are real important. Um, but or um, not spike shoes, but uh, paste is real important. But I'd say that was more important than the spike shoes I was missing. Uh, but still, we need the paste like more than we need a jetpack. I would say, which is a weird situation to be in. But hopefully we can make it happen here. I don't like that mine at all. Um, I don't like this mammoth at all either. Okay, let's wait until he turns around. There we go. He's dead. We want to take the dog to the exit for sure. Let's just piss this guy off and leave. Good. Now we can come up and get the dog. It was up here, yes. And that's gonna put us at five health on the next floor. Unfortunately, not more. Uh, actually, let's harvest him a little bit because we do want a full Kapala when we move on. That was like the worst blood splatter possible, but that's okay. We were almost at a full Kapala. So, uh, next floor we'll be able to pretty quickly get on to six health, which is nice. another one of those dudes and just see what's going on on this floor but it really seems very uneventful oh shit I accidentally filled my Kapala what an idiot <laughs> I just saw the blood and I was like oh yes blood must get all right so I think we are done on this floor I would kill myself on a mine but I have 14 health so let's use these spikes instead and here we are with the hedget Moving on to the next level. And uh, we're doing okay. We're <laughs> I would feel so optimistic about this run if we just had pace, but I'm like, I'm just thinking like, how the fuck are we gonna kill Anubis? God, and we have to kill these yetis to get their corpses so that we can throw them at the, oh, that snowman is hiding <laughs> in that, uh, that thing. Uh, but yeah, we need to we need to get Yetis dead by stomping on them three fucking times. This is gonna be annoying because we need their corpses to throw at the shopkeeper. To oh god, that was weird. <laughs> uh, to throw at the shopkeeper so we can hopefully get the shotgun back. Because we if I don't have the shotgun, how am I gonna kill Anubis? That's not that's not a fair question. I've spent a lot of time on the temple with no items, killing Anubis over and over again. We're gonna cook bombs to kill Anubis, and that is gonna be scary and dangerous. So I'd prefer if that was not what we had to do. And for that to be the case, I need to land this, basically. <laughs> Fuck! How did that piss him off? That wasn't even me, that was a fucking alien, you asshole. Ah, <laughs> God damn it. Okay, so. That sucks. We are gonna ghost this. Oop. I kind of want to try, um, like, standing up here and then throwing the- ah, didn't work. Oh well. Uh, but here's the vault, and we'll obviously ghost that. It's going to be super easy no matter where the ghost comes from to get him through there with the jetpack. So don't even have to worry about that. But, god damn. <laughs> that would suck. Okay, so now, yeah, we're gonna have to cook bombs to kill Anubis. We don't even have spike shoes. I couldn't possibly, like, jump on his head or anything. Cooking bombs is the way to kill that man. So, here we go, basically. <laughs> this is, uh, moving toward the beginning of the end of this run. I almost forgot about the dog here, so let's go ahead and whip him and take him to the exit. And now we just wait for the ghost, basically. Very nice eggplant track going on, by the way. Here, ghost. Come on, who's a good little ghost? Who's a good little ghost? God, how long have we been on this floor? I feel like we've been on this floor for quite a while, but I guess not that long. Here it is, alright. So, the ghost should be coming from the left. Let's we'll come over here, wait until he comes through all the gyms. If you know what I mean. And then we'll drag him to the right some more, and then juke around him, go and pick up our diamonds and then go in the exit before he can get back. 
pretty standard ghosting procedure. Uh, we need him to come up here because we trap ourselves down there. So let's wait until he's up here. Oh, this sounds so sweet. I don't think I've ever heard the eggplant track with the ghost. It's good. That is so cool. Alright, so there's our money. And we're moving on with nothing, basically. Well, I mean, not nothing. No, no held item is what I meant to say there. We've got tons of advantages. I've killed Anubis so many times with Cook Bomb. Oh, man. Look at this lava bullshit. I don't even have spike shoes to kill this fucking scorpion fly. Oh, no! Oh, no! Anubis is right there! Oh, God, that was so scary. Okay. Let's get this crate in case it's paste. Shit. Shit. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. This is. Okay, this is like the worst possible Anubis we could have found. Look at all this lava. Fuck lava. Okay, there's one. Yeah, I'm the greatest man, except- oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Did it fall in the lava? Yeah, I don't want to the lava. So let's get rid of the lava. There it is. I'm gonna use one more bomb to get rid of that lava, or that, uh, yeah, that little bit of lava. And then... Shit, man, I can't safely use the scepter from anywhere because it could just go into a corpse. Let's toss this guy down. No, toss him down. And then... I need you... Oh god, I don't even know what I need. I need to just leave. There's just no chance of me not killing myself with the scepter there. There's too many corpses. The scepter homes in on, I think, always the nearest corpse, but I'm not totally sure on that. Okay, we need... This mummy to come in a little bit more, and then we can just- oh! <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. I want those ropes. I don't know if I want them a bomb, but now I'm invested because they used to be a crate, and I wanted the crate. So I had to get them. Um, let's see here. I also want this. And I don't want to go any further because that thwomp will kill me. Uh, so we saw the door over here. Let's just go ahead and utilize that oh god <laughs> everything is going wrong uh, let's go to the city of gold and we're gonna have to fucking do the cooked bombs for Anubis too as well I guess we'll do that on the Olmec fight because that's easier Jesus Christ what a run this is a good challenge run no paste run kill this guy I feel like I deserve to get paced in a crate on Olmec if I make it that far. Oh, okay, we're just not going that way because the tiki traps are just too scary. So let's go this way instead. Okay, that is already triggered. There we go. Fuck this guy, and then when he gets back up, actually, that's a bunch of blood, so we might as well just, yeah, make that happen, except I'm gonna grab onto the ledge and miss all of it. Just gotta kill this guy. No spike shoes, no paste makes fucking mummies the worst. They're <laughs> so annoying. Um, damn, I really need something to throw in front of this tiki trap. Oh, it looks like it already went. Alright, so let's, uh, let's get ready to go in there and rob the Necronomicon. But we're not going to do it quite yet, because I don't have anything to deal with Anubis 2 at all. Anubis 2 might actually be like a legitimate uh, challenge this time, which is unusual. Usually he's pretty fucking easy. But in a situation like this, not so much. We're going to use a bomb there to uh, get rid of this lava because I do not want to fall in it. One more bomb. It's not worth fucking with at this point. But let's see if I can make this guy drop his shotgun. Where'd he go? He's 
dead. Okay, that is excellent. That means that we can just shotgun Anubis 2 to death, which is very- OH NO! Come the fuck on! God damn it, Parrot Man. You are the worst. You are the worst piece of shit in the world, I hate you. Okay, we're gonna destroy the Tiki Trap, we're gonna- OH NO 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 NO! Okay, we're gonna kill that guy, we're gonna get back up to 2 health. And we are going to- OH NO, WHAT THE FUCK HAPPENED? I don't know what happened. I was looking at the other part of the screen, but the series of buttons I pushed should have had no way for me to get low enough to hit that tiki trap. Oh, well, I'll have to watch the VOD. I'm sure it looked stupid, but I really don't know how I got in range of that tiki trap. I was going to farm that mummy for blood. We were going to be in such a good position. God damn it. Oh, well, that was a fucked run anyway. No pace, no spike shoes. Come on. Like, how is that even possible, going that far? Killing the entire black market, going through all the mines and everything. There should have been pace somewhere, but there wasn't. Very unusual situation. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.